Hi guys, welcome to our YouTube channel IG Tech Talk. In this video, we will perform one small task and that task is related to AWS Cloud Formation. AWS Cloud Formation is one way to create our resources. Generally, we create our resources by using a console, but it, it is a time consuming process. And consider if you have to create different types of resources, you have to switch from uh, different ty uh, types of the resources from here to there. But in a cloud formation, within a single that is used, we can use a single template and create a different types of resources. Here we do not require to move our tabs. <laughs> Just one in a single template, we can create a different types of resources. Hope so, guys. You clear with the cloud formation. In this task, uh, we will create two VPC and uh, in the same region. And in that two VPC, we create the two subnet in each VPC and one EC2 instance in it. So totally, we have to create two subnet, four sorry, two VPC, four subnet, and two EC2 instance. First, we have to log into our AWS console. Uh, then search on the services for cloud formation. Then in a uh, then you will uh, see the cloud formation console and in that click for the create stack option. Then in cloud formation designer tab select the resource type EC2 where you will find the VPC subnet and EC2 instances. Uh, don't worry, I, uh, all these things I will show you on your on the AWS console also. Then uh, next next is select the template language. Here, AWS provides you the two types of for template language. One is a JSON and another is a YAML. Then, uh, design your template and deploy. So, let's perform the task. Uh, and uh, firstly, we uh, log into our AWS console. So, move to the AWS console. This is an AWS management console. You can uh, simply search here cloud formation. And you also, you can directly uh, click here cloud formation. These are all the same. These all are the options are same thing. Then click on this option, create stack. If you already have template, you can upload your template from your local machine and deploy the, or you can just uh, create your resources. Uh, here I select this option, create template in designer. So uh, in this, op uh, I select this option because uh, here, uh, we will create we will design one template so click on this option create template in designer uh, these all are the resources type for the cloud formation as i already told you we have to select ec2 here in ec2 these are the resources list uh, the task is related to the VPC and subnet creation. So first we will select the VPC. Just we create the VPC. Select that VPC option and try here. Uh, but we have to create two VPC. So once again perform the same. And these are the two VPC. And we have to select the language of the temp template. Which language you want. Here I will go through the YAML. Select on this. In VPC, uh, uh, firstly, you can also rename that VPC. Uh, I will give the VPC as an uh, VPC1. And in the properties, the required property for the VPC is a CIDR block. CIDR block. And give the address prefix for address space for the CID VPC. Perform the same thing for the VPC2 also. You can simply rename by here also. Then click on this refresh button. 
you will find here the CID are of VPC1 and VPC2 with their name. Then in that VPC, we have to create two subnet. Just make it B. Then uh, search for the subnet. Yeah. Drag it here. Then next subnet, whatever we did with the VPC, the name and other thing, same you can do with the subnet that is CI ref, uh, VPC1, which means that it, uh, this subnet is, uh, is in VPC1 and whatever the CIDR is allocated, it is uh, reference to that VPC1. Then here you have to give the CIDR block for the uh, subnet, this subnet and so, oh, in uh, two subnet, we also want one EC2 instance. So, search for that instance. Yeah. Uh, this is the way we can deploy our uh, uh, all the tasks. As I already have one template, so I will directly deploy that template here. I will show you. If you want that tem uh, that code for the reference, I will uh, upload that code in the GitHub repo, and uh, I will also give the uh, link of that uh, GitHub in the description. So I directly goes to the backward. 